Hey boys and girls, like Skillfaker here, and welcome to the like first proper um, Battlefield 3 endgame DLC gameplay. So um, what you're watching right here is my very first rush game and the, also the very first proper like game I was playing on endgame. The first three rounds I was just um, doing stupid shenanigans with my brothers and the dirt bikes. But yeah, um, that's what you can see right now, and if you're wondering why I'm using the Chevron scope, it's basically... Um, um, I haven't played for I think uh, about a week or so and this is normally enough to kind of um, I don't know how to say it like reset my aim since I've been playing lots of Arma and DayZ so um, I wasn't kind of used to it and I thought another nice little challenge would be actually quite nice um, personally I don't think that the Chevron is really good but um, I think it just kind of looks cool with the SV-98 and since that's the rifle I'm using the well, the majority of the time I thought it might be cool to go like, quote, full Russian, I guess. And um, yeah, so right here you can see the Rush game. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Endgame DLC and what I've, um, like, what I think about it so far. And I haven't played it too much um, just for, just to climb the damn rock up here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't played too much of it, so um, I can't really give proper first impressions. It's and that's also why I won't do it it's like with the other video which is more like a to show off gameplay instead of the first impressions but I will just talk about how I feel about the gameplay or well the DLC so far and um, yeah well, let's get right into this um, first of all I think I like that they have done the um, like the four seasons maps um, it's just kind of like something new something cool and just looks kind of good and yeah I think these, the electric stuff up there actually hurts you. But yeah, um, I think a while ago I said that Endgame is probably going to be my favorite DLC. I think this was around when Close Quarters came out, um, just because you had the option to drive the dirt bikes around. And yeah, <laughs> I've been trying them out, like I said, quite a lot with C4 against tanks with my, uh, together with my brother. And I have to say they're quite cool, but um, I think they feel a little arcadey, like. Um, I don't know, it's just like, hard to describe, um, it doesn't feel too battlefieldish. it's a little bit, I think the whole DLC is a little, well, because of the dirt bikes, a little bit arcadey, and because, like, you're leaning so fast and so much and you're, like, dunking your head into the mud, <laughs> it just looks ridiculous, but, yeah, um, dirt bikes are lots of fun, um, they definitely speed up the game play a little bit because the, the games um, play kind of slow for me um, right now but I think it's just because they, um, the DLC just has, just has come out so um, people aren't used to the maps they don't know the maps and everyone's just like um, running around like a headless chicken and yeah I think that's probably the reason for that um, some other cool things or me no not cool things would be some glitchiness like I've already talked about the patch and how the patch is kind of not so good and they haven't done anything and I think um, some parts of the DLC feel kind of glitchy I've heard that lots of people have problems with like um, disconnects and stuff especially in brother so um, that kind of sucks I hope they really will even if they're not known for patching that stuff after the DLC comes out I really hope they'll do because this, this DLC looks promising even though lots of people always say that it might not be but yeah whatever it, it really looks kind of cool and like I said I haven't played it enough to give a proper review of it now but um, yeah I think it just for now I have fun playing it again um, it's just a like a new change of pace I guess so I think it's really cool and something else <laughs> I want to talk about was um, air superiority. So I've played um, all the um, new game modes already, stand the pilot there. And I actually did not want to play air superiority at all. But, um, well, I was on a server which was like um, rotating maps and game modes, and so it just ended up on a air superiority server when I was playing together with my friend Arman. And I have to say, air superiority is lots of fun. Like, I didn't expect that to be that much of like fun and to be that cool but you re you should really try it out and um, like I said I at first I didn't want to but it, it definitely is cool so um, stay tuned for more Battlefield 3 endgame videos in the near future I think I've already prepared two more like gameplay wise and yeah I think it's pretty much all for now so I hope you enjoyed the video and like skill figure out Thanks. 